Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. So I have here the Honor 8, which is a fantastic phone in case you guys don't know already. I haven't reviewed it yet. I'll probably be getting into that very soon, but uh, we just got the Nougat update on this one. Shout out to QBKing77. I saw his video and it made me go into my drawer, pull out my Honor 8 and uh, install the 7.0 Nougat update. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. So along with the 7.0 upgrade, we're also getting Emotion UI or EMUI 5.0, which is the latest version of the skin that we get on the Honor phone. It's also the same that we get on the Huawei Mate 9 and Mate 9 Pro. So certain UI uh, elements, uh, I'll go ahead and check out the clock here. Uh, the, the skin is now the same as what you'll get on those other phones. Um, I do like the previous version of Emotion UI. As far as the clock goes, I think it looked a lot cooler, but uh, that's just my opinion. So pretty much everything that you'll find on the Mate 9, you'll find here now on the Honor 8 with that EMUI 5.0 upgrade. So as you probably noticed just a little while ago, I did actually open up the app drawer. Uh, we do have this app drawer now on the Honor 8. Again, we have this on the Mate 9. We now have it here on the Honor 8. So it's cool to see that. Uh, you can actually turn that on and turn it off. You can you know, enable that if you want have an app drawer if you don't want an app drawer then you can just go ahead and continue on the same way but it is in the settings which is pretty cool we also have the blue light filter which is called eye comfort right there so if we wanted to uh, tint the screen a little bit to be a little easier on the eyes especially when you're reading uh, at night or something like that then you have that and real quickly I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the camera because I don't really remember I want you guys to help me out with this I don't really remember what the camera UI looked like on the previous version of EMUI so you guys are gonna have to help me out with this but this is pretty much what we get on the Mate 9 as well uh, so just let me know down below in the comments if you guys remember what that looked like because I don't all right so now we're in the settings application and again this is where you can get to your home screen style if you wanted the app drawer you can enable that but if you wanted to get rid of it you can just take that away use the standard layout of course you do have your navigation key customization and all that good stuff you can customize the fingerprint button in case you guys didn't already know about that but we also have something called app twin and this is pretty cool so basically with app twin you can kind of clone applications if you will so that you can log into two separate accounts uh, and quickly switch in between them so you don't really have to log out and then log back into the other account that you want to get into um, it currently only works with Facebook and WhatsApp from the looks of it I do have snapchat and Instagram and stuff like that loaded on this phone but uh, unfortunately they're not listed here so probably does not work with that um, but uh, well well check that out and I'll let you guys know in the full review uh, but we also have some differences in the battery section here so if you wanted to go into the power saving mode you can also enable low resolution power saving so it will actually lower the resolution of the screen which is pretty Pretty cool. Alright, so one of the big UI changes that I did forget to mention is the recent app strays. You can see here it is now what you would find on a Nexus or a Pixel or something like that. It's now the regular uh, vertical scrolling list of applications. Before we would have the list going this way and we would have to swipe the applications up like that. This is a lot better, especially for multitasking and stuff like that. Uh, so there's that. And now wrapping things up, we do have what you would expect with Android 7.0. We do have multi window. So going to go ahead and drag this up to the top there and let's go ahead and select uh, Google Chrome right here so we can run two windows separately uh, at the same time which is pretty cool I actually don't want to watch this Kia ad so get out of there but uh yeah you got you know the ability to do this on your honor it's really really smooth I do like that and you can quickly resize them it's really really easy to use and then when you're done you can go ahead and just X out of there so there you go uh, and then you also have one of my favorite features on 7.0 is the ability to double tap the multitask button to get to the previously used application really quickly and uh, yeah I definitely love that so that's pretty much it for what's different here on uh, the Honor 8 as far as Android 7.0 Nougat and EMI, EMUI 5.0 go. But uh, other than that, that's that's pretty much what you get, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But that does it for me. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And thanks for watching.